Hi everyone, I'm glad you've come to cook with Victoria. Today I am super excited. Why? I have got two reasons to be excited. The first one is, as you can see, this is a different kitchen from the previous one I used when I started this channel. We've moved house. Yeah! We've moved house. This place is a bit bigger. The kitchen is a bit bigger than the other kitchen. And I will show you around so that you see our new kitchen. But this issue of moving from one house to the other, what do you think about it? To me, mm, just leave your comment in the comment section. Yeah, let me know how you feel about moving house. And again, the second one is, <laughs> I will tell you the second one after we I show you around my new kitchen. That's the cooker. It's bigger than the other one I was using before. And that's the fridge. The fridge too is bigger and it has got two freezers. I've got more cabinets, as you can see. And the worktop. I love the worktop. And also the design on the wall. That's beautiful, isn't it? More space here. And what is it? You know this one, I you see it in the other kitchen, my former kitchen. It's just M U M Mom. It's to tell you this is mom's kitchen. My space, my territory. I am the managing director of this place. Yeah. And I've got more cabinet here. So that's all about it. Thank you for the kitchen talk. Ah, the second one is we are over 150 subscribers wow i'm so happy i am so thankful to god and i want to thank every one of you that have subscribed if you have not yet subscribed please do encourage me your subscription has been encouraging me your comment everything has been encouraging me thank you so much and because we are celebrating bigger kitchen and over 150 subscribers there will be a giveaway price mm, giveaway price and that the question is on my instagram page and my instagram page is in the description below make sure you answer the question and you tag your friends at least two two friends or better still for you you can tag as many as many friends as possible that will give you more chances of winning this giveaway prize don't forget when you are chatting chat with me on my personal chat on my instagram thank you let's move on for today's recipe i'll be sharing with you my ayamase ayamase designer stew and it's so delicious you can eat it with rice anything you want to eat some eat it with bread some eat it with yam it's so super delicious so let me show you what and what we'll be using we'll be needing onions those of onions scotch bonnet pepper green tatashi green pepper i have two types the long one and the this type see a load of green pepper no tomatoes crayfish ground crayfish Camarilla pepper, if you have it, if you don't have it, fine, but it adds this flavor to it. Garlic and ginger. Seasoning. I have crayfish, no, and star. Salt. Grandmaster, Iru the low cost beans. Mm -mm -mm. This is so nice. It's going to give you the local flavor, yeah. Palm oil, but this palm oil we're going to bleach. Not all this, I'll tell you the quantity in the description box of everything I'm using. I'll tell you the quantity in the description box. I have pomo, I've already cooked pomo with um, cow food, I've diced them out. That's the very soft. 
and I have beef, I place them out and a shaki, tribe, cow tribe. I have diced them out. All I'll be doing is I'll be frying this, just this, and I'll be bleaching the palm oil. Let's move on. I forgot to tell you that I'll be using egg, so I'll be using 10 eggs. I'll be cooking the eggs. Then I finish blending the oh my goodness. So what I'll be doing now is I want to drain out the water. I didn't put too much water when I was blending. So I will drain out all the water like this using this method to be faster. And you see that it's not blended smoothly, it's roughly blended because that is the joy of ayamase you don't blend it smoothly so i will do all this drain out the water from it using this method and i'll come back while the paper is draining i will be pouring my oil into this pot because it is well covered make sure when you want to bleach your oil your pot is well covered low it please low it no high heat low it and uh, when it, you want to check if it is bleached enough if you don't have see-through cover like this make sure it is cool the oil is cool down before you open it we don't want anybody choking we don't want any accident and emergency cooking is fun when there is no accident i'm bleaching my oil, the palm oil, cooking my egg, and at the same time, I want to start frying the beef and the shaki. The beef is ready, fried with the shaki. So all this, I'll put them one side. This is the drained pepper, the green pepper. You see, it's still very rough. It's not all that smooth at all. This is the water I drained from it, so I'm going to leave that aside. Cook this. Mm. So I'll be cooking this and I'll leave it to get really cooked. Then I'll come back and show you. And while this is cooking, I'll be preparing to cook my rice. For about 15 minutes now, I've been cooking this pepper. Now, I'm going to switch it off so that I'm able to go to the next stage. You see, no more water at all. Everything is okay. Well dried, cooked. Because I don't want this when you're eating it and you feel you're eating raw pepper. That's why I cooked it. So, I'm going to switch it off. I will go to the next one. I'll be cooking the rice eliwi. It's time for me to cook my rice eliwi. And to eat, I've already put washed rice, 900 grams of rice, basmati rice. Doesn't require a lot of water. And I'll be adding 100 and 1,200 ml. That is 1.2 liter of water to eat. I've already put salt in my water. Yeah. So what I'll be doing now is this is my own way of cooking rice a little bit. I tell you, after this, you're going to be cooking your plain rice like this. You can use any rice of your choice. I'll prefer basmati rice since I don't have the uh, doku rice or father rice. But now you see these leaves, the mamoy, the leaves we use for mamoy. What I will use is I will cover the rice with it. And what this will do to my rice is to infuse the oil and the aroma in the leaves into this rice. And I'll be covering it with the pot lid. 
then we go back to the pepper and finish our ayamase now I'm back to the ayamase this is the bleached palm oil you see the, you see the color yeah that's what we're looking for I'm going to be pouring so that it's, it's cold but I'm going to pour in everything there I need to switch on that one so the remaining oil in this pot what I'll be doing is I have diced onions one medium onion I'll be I will let it get a little bit hot and I'll pour it in with my oil. but to this I'll put in beef, shaki, momo and bokoto, cow foot is this not beautiful? this is beautiful don't forget I fried the beef and the shaki yeah, I didn't fry the pomo and the um, calf. Wow, 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 wow. I'm not forgetting my rice. When I checked the other time, it was almost done. That's why I like using hot water for my basmati rice. Then. The egg. What are we doing to the? I'll put the egg last. But what I'll do to the egg is I'll poke the egg. I'll poke the egg like this. I'll poke the egg so that the sauce can go in. I'll do that. Now it's time to add my. Onions. The iru. Stir it in. And while that is doing, I would like to check my rice. checking my rice now oh, oh, oh. can you see this is so beautiful fluffy done and the aroma mm -mm. Mm. Oh. this is so nice when that one is done I'll just cover it and that's sorted so this is the onions and the low cost beans which is iru you see the way it is that's what i want so i'll be putting in from this pot here why i did that was not because of anything but because i don't want to change the pot i use for the for cooking the pepper that's why I use another, I use the pot that I use for the oil, to the palm oil, to bleach the palm oil. I just let some so that I'll be able to fry up some more onions and then um, use because I want the flavor to come out very well. Now pour it over. And you may be wondering, why is she not putting a... Uh, seasoning yet mm. I will do that in a bit this is so nice I have about 400 ml of the beef stock that I used to cook the beef and the uh, shaki so I'm going to pour them I'm going to pour it in I will just see because I don't want it to be 
work through and at the same time I want sauce I don't want it to be too thick I think I should be pouring all three as this will give me sauce so I'm going to taste for seasoning now I will add everything I need to add before I add my egg because I don't want to be staring why the egg is there I don't want them to get broken So I view it in that this is so beautiful, right? Very, very beautiful. The rice is done. The ayamase is almost done. Almost done. The water we took away from the green pepper was is because um, to allow the pepper to cook faster and be able to control the water in it. And that is why I am adding I just added the stock. Now let me see. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'll be seasoning it up. Pouring the seasoning now. My crayfish. Salt, let me taste finally now. Mm -mm -mm. So heavenly, yeah, so nice. Finally, I'll be putting in my head. So, if you want it like this, that's okay. But if you don't want it, you want it a bit. If you don't want it as quick as this, you can add water. Or if you have more stock, but stock water. But the, the, the problem with that is you already added your seasoning, salt, everything. If you now add extra stock water, it may be too salty. So the best thing for you to do is just add water. I will load it now to uh, me load it and I'll leave it to simmer so that the sauce will be able to go into the egg where I put each egg. So that's it. I must say it's done. So this is the finished product. The rice, rice in the way, the rice inside the leaves and uh, the ayamase see it so yummy so interesting the egg everything is there the pomo the shaki the beef so what i'll be doing is i'll take a plate take the rice and the way they will serve it at party they open the rice and they will put the ayamasi there. Serve it on top. Look at the sauce. Wonderful. Mm. So all what you do now is just mix it up. And inside your mouth oh man this is it so wonderfully wonderful you know at the beginning of the video i said there will be giveaway price and if you want to be the winner you need to go to my instagram page answer the question privately you need to chat with me answer the question tag your friends two of your friends or family the more you tag people the better the chances for you to win this wonderful heavenly scent but cooked in my kitchen the just the one we just cooked now the ayamasi 
It's so nice, so delicious. You can't trade with any anything. If you want to win it, just go to my Instagram page. The link is in the description box. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends and family, and subscribe. You know, when it comes to cooking, it's good to explore. Because when you explore, you will discover a lot. And as you discover, you will enjoy. Till next time, bye!